Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new Sims 3 speed build. Apologies if I'm talking quietly, but again, like in every other speed build, everybody is asleep. It is like half 11 right now, and I just thought it was the perfect time to do a voiceover when there's like nobody else awake. I probably won't be getting any disruptions, um, but I needed to get a voiceover done, so I thought why not do it now? But this house is called Spruce Grove. It is a beautiful house, I really really like it. In the thumbnail, it's a little, like, the lighting in it is a little funny. On the roof, right above the porch and stuff, like the, you know, whatever, you'll know when you see it. But in the thumbnail, there's, like, a really weird shadow. Can't get rid of it. I tried to, like, kind of edit it out by, like, colouring in the thumbnail and everything. It didn't work. So I just gave up. But it's fine. Because, you know what I mean? It's just the way the lighting in the game is. It's not a big deal. But other than that, I think the house looks really nice. It's a really nice colour. The colour of it basically what i did was i like it was okay basically the house is kind of a bluey shade so i googled on google like blue names for the sh names of shades of blue basically i like i'm so bad at wording everything names of different shades of blue and there was spruce blue and i was like that sounds really cool so i googled it and it literally was the color of the house and i was like that is so perfect let me name it that so spruce grove is the final name I decided upon. So I built this house, well, I started building this house um, like a week ago maybe and then my game crashed. Well but okay here's the story. Building it, how beautiful, okay? The house is looking amazing, um, you know it's really nice. I, like I was using a picture however the house was actually looking really really nice and I was so happy with how everything was going with it. Um, I was working on the exterior like you're seeing now and did all landscaping, windows, everything like that. Basically it was done. Go to edit town, go to save my game, and right as I'm saving my game, it's mid-save, my whole PC freezes. Oh my goodness, I was so upset because, no, I wasn't upset, I didn't cry or anything, but I was so like annoyed because I spent like an hour and a half, or about an hour, building this house, making it look all beautiful, you know, picking the perfect colours, perfect shades of every colour to go with this house. And then my game crashed. So um that was amazing. But then I left it a couple of days, came back to it, and I used the old footage, because I was recording obviously, and the recording was fine. Um to the end of it, like it kind of cut off, but the footage was there. So I used that to build this, which is what you're seeing now. So it's the exact same, like layout, everything like that. It's the exact same. Um but it's just annoying because I, you know, I had it already done and I had to do it again. But it's beautiful. This house, it is up for download now on Mediafire if you wish to get it. Also, the sim from my streams that are also on YouTube, um, she's up for download as well on Mediafire. I have linked it um, somewhere. It's linked somewhere. It's in comments and stuff. I've replied to comments with the links for it. But I'm pretty sure I've added it to the description of the streams. If not, then I will definitely do that after stream if I remember. But this house anyway is for um, download if you wish to get that. The garden of this house, I really like it. Um, I don't know. I'm really bad at gardening. I really struggle with it sometimes. And then sometimes I just do, you know, one thing. I don't have to constantly keep changing it. And it just looks really good. But this time I really liked how it turned out. And I'm really happy with it. So I have no idea what to talk about in the speed build. I didn't really have anything planned to talk about because I just needed to get a speed build, um, like a voiceover done. And I was like, now's the chance to do it. But like, I imagine I have got things to talk about. Let me think. Well, I've started streaming on YouTube. If you want to check that out, you can do so. All the streams are on this channel that you are seeing. It's just in a different section. So you know the way like all the videos are in the video section on the live section? All my streams are there, all perfectly like organized. I've been making thumbnails to go for each stream and it is amazing. We're doing a leprosy challenge currently and if you wanna know any rules for that, you can Google them or they should also be in the description of um, the streams as well. Um, but yeah, no, it's a really, really fun challenge so far. We're not really far into it, but we're gonna keep streaming. Like today I was supposed to stream, but I'm like very tired. I just wasn't in the mood to kind of stream for like an hour and a half or whatever. Um, I just wasn't feeling it. I wasn't really in the mood and you know, that's perfectly fine because obviously like I'm in control of when I stream and I just don't want it to become a thing where 
I kind of constantly talk myself out of it. But today I just really wasn't feeling it. And tomorrow I've got family coming over. Saturday, Sunday, it's just relaxing because on Monday I'm going back to school after two weeks of being off for Easter. So I kind of just didn't really want to like stream. I probably will. Like it could be the kind of thing that I randomly go live one evening. And I'm like, you know what? I, today I was really in the mood to stream. I know I said I wasn't going to, but we'll see. We will see what happens. But right now, tonight, I'm not streaming. I'm, you know, working on builds and stuff like that because I have a speed build. Obviously I have this one, which I'm voiceovering now, but I have another speed build from like, it could be like January or February or something. And it's still sitting in my files, like the actual footage of it, but it is not edited or voiceovered or anything like that. So I need to get it out because I think I didn't because it was very similar looking to a previous house that I did or like I built one house which is already on my channel I think I can't think of the name but it's like the brick house with all the brick on the outside the brick house all the brick on the outside that you know very well known house but it I built another house that was also a house that had brick on the outside so I was like I don't really want to be uploading to the two houses both with brick on the outside that are not they're not they're not very similar looking I'll be honest with you they're not but just out of handiness, I just didn't upload it. I didn't go near it. I just left it. But it's still there. It's a nice house. I really like it. Um, so I definitely need to work on that as well. And then if I get that video finished, I'm sorted for like the first week back to school. Another thing. Today I started renovating the bachelor's house. And what I wanted to do was use the, like, you know, start doing renovations as well. I don't know if I'll do it to replace like not replace Saturday speed builds, but would I do it on like a Saturday instead of like a speed build, I suppose? Or would I do it on a different day of the week and still do speed builds? Because renovations, they're so good because I can still like, you know, completely empty the house. So it's just the shell of the house and kind of change that. Um, because obviously I'm not like building the house from scratch, you know what I mean? So it is different, but it's not too different, you know what I mean? So... Um, yeah, I started renovating the, the bachelor's house and my idea was to look at all of the sims who live in that current house, their traits, their likes, their, you know, the colours they like and everything like that, and then, like, build the house to suit them more rather than just what EA have done. And also, not only to suit them, but to suit my, like, building style, I suppose. Um, and then if you like it, you can download it. It is very full of custom content, the one I had started doing for the bachelors, but... You know what I mean? You could change it up, you could, you know, do your own thing with it. But I just wanted to kind of run the idea past you or like what you thought about it because I feel like it would be a really good idea but I don't know if I would do it as a Saturday video. But it could be the kind of thing where I do as a, do it as a Saturday video every so often, maybe every, you know, three or four weeks or whatever. And just even in the voiceovers, like even if I just do the voiceovers like normal, I don't even need to talk anything about like, you know, the bachelors and their backstory or anything like that. It can literally just be like, okay, and here's the bachelor house renovated and then carry on rambling about whatever I want to ramble on about. I don't know. Let me know if you have any thoughts on it. Um, but I might give it a go because if I, if I don't do it on a Saturday, I'll just do it on a random day of the week. It's the kind of thing that I'm going to do it no matter what. So I don't know. But then if I did it on like another day of the week, I like also have to do a speed build. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with doing a speed build. It's just that, you know, it's a lot to be doing when I could just do a renovation as a video too. But anyway, apart, you know, it, that doesn't matter. I really hope my microphone quality in the speed build, in this voiceover, is like okay. Basically, in my most recent video, Heather's, which is, you know, going to be out before this one. It's already out by the time I'm doing this voiceover. But um, I didn't have a microphone out at that point it wasn't on my desk or anything it was like tucked away in a drawer because I had like moved my room around and so I just you know had to take everything off my desk and I just put it away out of handiness so I took it out for the voiceover and it was clipped to the edge of my desk closest to me so normally I have it the one that's like so okay if you're sitting at a desk right now or at a table whatever like the edge that's furthest away from me that's where I clipped the like microphone on or like the side that's opposite me um and then it's kind of coming over my monitors it's kind of hard to like explain it but basically it's just it's not clipped where I'm sat on the edge that I'm sat at basically but 
Anyway, when I was doing the voiceover, it was clipped to the edge right beside me and it was also clipped really close to my PC. So immediately the quality was like not as good because my PC, oh my goodness, it sounds like an airplane is like flying over my house constantly. It is not good. But anyway, apart from that, th basically the, the microphone was picking that up a little bit. I kind of was able to sort it out a little bit, you know, it wasn't too bad, but it just doesn't sound like, it just, the voiceover didn't sound like it normally would and normally probably should. Um, and it just, the quality wasn't as good. And at the time when I'd recorded the voiceover and I was listening to it in the editing software, I didn't really notice a difference. I was like, okay, it's good enough. You can hear my voice and all sorts. Cause obviously I wasn't expecting it to be perfect considering I just quickly pulled the microphone out of the drawers in about 10 minutes and set everything up. But comparing it to other videos, you could really hear the difference. You like, it was ridiculous. You could really hear it. So I hope it's a bit better now. Um, and yeah. We'll see how that goes. We'll see how it sounds and everything. But yeah, uh, this house, I, like, I really like it. I really, really like this house. I'm playing, so basically on Twitch, I used to stream um, and I was playing with this household and I haven't played with them in ages. So then r the other day I started playing with them again because I was like, I'm not gonna play with them on Twitch probably. And I haven't played with them in ages. So let me just play with them off camera myself and I can do current households, all sorts like that. And I uh, played in this house and I really, really like it. And it's like the perfect house. It's a really big, like, you know, there's a lot of bedrooms in it basically. And it's the perfect size for a big family. Um, but particularly this office space, there is so, so much space here. And it's perfect. I really like it. And like, I was taking screenshots and I was adding the screenshots then in at the end of the video, like right before I started the voiceover. And I was looking at them and I was like, mm, I don't know if I'll add them all in. But then I was uh, as I was like actually looking through them, I was like, hang on, these screenshots are so nice. This house is absolutely gorgeous. It is amazing. I love it. But there's this big area here. I'm doing, not big area, but like, say all this musical stuff. If you have a musical sim, this house is perfect for them. The other side, there's like an easel and everything. And it's just perfect for like any sim. It is amazing. Sorry, I just had to pause for a second. My throat gets so dry. I was talking about this on Twitch. But if I'm like talking for like a really long time in a row, like I could be having like 10 litres of water in between, like the, you know, when I first start talking and finish talking, but I could literally be like coughing and spluttering because my throat is so dry. It is so, so annoying. But um, this voiceover is not too long. It's 18 minutes, which it is a bit long when you're kind of struggling with your throat. Um, but it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I only have the five minutes and I can put music at the end if I end up like my eyes are watering and I'm just struggling to get through it but we'll see we'll see how things go um recently I have downloaded a lot more custom content for my game I want to get more because I want like I don't use a crazy amount but when I use it I like to have options and stuff like that but recently I downloaded a bunch of rugs I always struggle to find rugs that I like in the game in base game it's nice like there's some that I like but I kind of need to like edit them and everything like that. So it is really, really nice when you find rugs that you like, custom content ones. Cause I, I remember finding some before on like Lana CC finds or Emily CC finds or something. When I clicked the same file share link, file had been deleted. And I was so sad because they were the, like the most beautiful rugs ever. And there was like no other ones. They were nice, but they were all like doormats or rugs for like, a kid's room and I want just general rugs for a living room, for a dining room, bedroom, whatever. I need more like that but you know I found some so I'm very very pleased with that but when I find them I make sure that they never leave my game because they're like my most precious thing in the game. Like I don't care about anything else, don't care about it. The rugs are the most precious thing because they are so hard to get back but anyway. Um, I also have sorted through all my CC using CC Magic. I downloaded it and I added all my CC and everything like that. Really handy. It was so, so quick to do and like to like merge everything or like rebuild everything. So, so handy to do. Um, my game is super smooth. I have so much CC and it is super smooth. When I'm playing on stream um, with the like Leprosy Challenge, doing the Leprosy Challenge, I don't have any packs or anything like that so immediately that is obviously making my game run better but 
Um, I loaded up the household that I was playing off camera that I streamed on Twitch and basically when I started the gameplay one of those like portal thingies for Into the Future spawned and when I went to delete it like you know shift click object delete when you've got like your cheats on and stuff my game crashed and I feel like it was just it was obviously too much on my game but I feel like it doesn't help that I had all the packs installed so much CC and mods and everything like that so it's kind of nice playing on the Lepsy challenge when I have nothing else apart from just like CC in my game it is so good it, it's just like it's so, it's so nice but yeah um I'm not looking forward to the Lepsy challenge when we get further into it okay I have one question about the Lepsy challenge if you've done it before when you're going from generation to generation so say for example generation one wait generation one base game generation two world adventures then generation three do i keep world adventures in my game and also the pack that the third generation requires that's one thing i wasn't so sure about i feel like it's like a stupid question but like am i only playing say for example i don't know what it is ambitions for example Am I only playing with ambitions or do I play with world adventures and ambitions? And then generation four is like world adventure, ambitions and generations or whatever it is. Is that how I play it? Or do I play it where I only play with the one pack? Because in my head, the Lepsy challenge is to explore each part of the game and each part of each pack. So it would make sense to only play with a certain pack. But then in my head, I'm also like, but then the other generations will have like nothing if they build a house um you know out of a bunch of stuff from world adventures then their house is basically gone i don't know if it's a stupid question i am sorry if like just just let me know if you know please let me know because i am so confused about it and um i was like googling but i didn't really know what to google like oh for generation two and three do i keep all the packs oh it was just too much to google but anyway we're coming towards the end of the speed build. We've got about a minute-ish left, um, but this bedroom, oh my god, I loved it. I loved it. Of course, I only furnished one because I have no time to furnish every single bedroom in this house or any house, but I love this bedroom. But the screenshots are coming up. You will see there's a lot of screenshots, but you need to see the kitchen. The kitchen is gorgeous. You need to see like all the angles. Oh, it is amazing. I love it so much. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the speed build and this voiceover. It actually went pretty quick. Like, yeah, I was saying about five minutes ago how my throat was dry and now we're at the end of the voiceover. Anyway, the link for this house will be in the description down below. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. Um, but I hope you have a, rest, a good rest of your day. I will probably see you in either a stream or next week's speed build. Either way, updates will be on Discord, so please join there. The link will be below. Um, and yeah follow me on twitter because i'm there pretty like pretty much all the time um and yes have a good rest of your day um goodbye <laughs>